Eight women are now safe after police in Tampa arrested a couple on human trafficking charges. A tip led investigators to those arrests. Calvin is in the newsroom right now with the latest developments on this. Calvin. Well, police receiving a tip that those women were smuggled from Cuba and across the border of Mexico. They range in age from 18 to 24 years old. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is receiving a tip about a possible human trafficking case last week. The investigation found the women were forced to work at various clubs in both Hillsborough and Pinellas counties in order to pay off their debt of $60,000. That was the smuggling cost to enter the U.S. Police saying they were also forced to perform sex acts through prostitution. Last Thursday night, we followed seven of the victims who were being escorted by one of their traffickers to the International Plaza which is where undercover detectives made contact and, and facilitated their rescue. Simultaneously, we obtained a court-authorized search warrant for two properties where these victims were being held and where we also recovered the eighth victim. According to Sheriff Chad Cronister, these victims were forced to stay five women to one room in bunk beds. The remaining three victims also had to share a room. Two suspects, Ahmed Delacal and Rosalia Garcia, facing 47 charges that include human trafficking, human smuggling, and false imprisonment. And the Attorney General calling this one of the worst cases of human trafficking she's ever seen. All eight women received medical care and have been contacted and rather connected with a safe housing organization. Christy Louis, I'll send it back to you. All right.